Hello, my Pisces. How are you? Welcome. My name is Misty the Mystic with Sugarfoot Tarot. If you have visited my channel before or we've done a reading in the past, thank you for coming back. If you're brand new, um, it's my chance for my heart and soul to connect with yours and my angels and guides to hang out with your angels and guides. So thank you. Please check your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus sign because this is a love read for November 2020 to get a full rounded scope of what your month may be like. Um, this is just a snapshot of what your month will be like. If you like your own personal reading, please grab me on sugarfoottarot.com. We've chosen this spellcaster, spellcaster's tarot for this month. And um, I do apologize. I try to get these videos out by the 15th of every month. It's a busy month. So many people want to connect with their loved ones that have passed over, want messages. Starting the holidays, they don't want to be alone. They have questions, answers. So, um... Just a busy, it'll be busy till the first of the year. And of course, I'll get busy again on Valentine's Day if you're in the States. So thank you for your patience. I super appreciate it. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. It's, before we change the energy, friendly reminder, Mercury, Mars, and Neptune are going direct this month. Right now, we're in Scorpio energy, that beautiful, seductive, secretive, sexy, investigative energy that we're all kind of taken in. Um, it's going to go into Sagittarius on the 21st, that fiery injury in energy. New moon on the 15th, but we also on the 29th or 30th, I think it's early morning on the 30th, depending on where you're at. I'll double check on that. We have a lunar eclipse. So that's going to shake things up. So let's go ahead. Oops. It's four o'clock here. And my only clock I have in my house is, is going off. So there we go. And, um, once that's done dinging, we'll go ahead and change the energy and get started. There we go. Okay, let's get started. Okay, fantastic. So, um, I always ask for a vision beforehand and what was showing me was cliche two fish swimming opposite direction a chew pisces alpha omega how do i get that to do that there we go <laughs> sorry about that um but as you swam you branched out on two so mate in a committed relationship or meeting someone and you're both swimming together through the ocean and you're looking down at all the, the beautifulness of the ocean traveling together now i didn't continue to ask where you were heading i just kind of let the vision go from there i didn't ask any more questions then i played with the cards and three cards fell out so let's look at those first before we pick nine cards first one that fell out was this one which is you the king or queen of cups again don't get hung up on the gender and all my readings are for all loves doesn't matter whom you love, you love is love. So um, there you are. The Pisces even has Pisces on top, has a heart, um, Triton. So wonderful there. I love it when I read and you guys come up for your personal readings. It's awesome. The next one was the first card of the deck, um, starting anew. So you are starting something new. This is kind of like, uh, like for Aquarius is what I just read for. This is your new year. Instead of waiting until January 1st, 2021, this is your new year. You're starting something anew. Okay? I know this is a love read, but this is what has come up. The next one is the three of coins. Um, and maybe starting something new. Could You could be a teacher. You could be a parent. Teaching something new. Very, very interesting. So whatever you're beginning enjoy congratulations that's very nice now my pisces what do they need to hear what do they need to know for november 2020 for love for pisces okay thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and um yeah let's pick nine cards one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right. Okay. And again, hello to all my cross rosters out there. First card, seven of cups. 
Got some turtle energy there. So, most of the decks means that there's something missing. But for you, you have a lot of people in your life. If you're a committed relationship, you have lots of family. If you're single, you have lots of family. And you might have a lot of suitors to choose from, a lot of admirers. Turtle energy is very magical. However, you can stick your little head back in your turtle shell and you can detach. So right now it's not. So you're looking at everything that's going on, all the different elements, all the different alchemy. You're by water, which is awesome. That's definitely you. So this is very interesting. Next card. Four of coins. You have saved your money. You've saved your money through this whole 2020. Can't save too much because, um, you know, YouTube doesn't like it. But you've saved your money. Um, committed relationship. If not, um, the person that you're going to meet or start dating is going to be in the same boat as you. Meaning they're of, of, they believe the same way you believe. You may have a child. Interesting. Oh, of all the 12 rings, this is the first one that has come up. Three of swords, I believe. We may have to pull a clarifying card if we don't find out by the ninth card. So there's some hurt there. There's some, then again, my singles have had some hurt. But I think you're ready to heal. Then again, being hurt, do I do I stick my head out or do I tuck it back in? Do I want to go through this again? I've saved my money. I've recovered from the past relationship. I'm single. Do I want to step into this again? Yes. Seven of coins. Yes. Yes. You're planting your seeds. You've got your beautiful crystals. And that's one thing I think... Um, I, I'm speaking of, I've, I've talked a lot to the past two days. Um, Pisces of the beginning and ending. Um, Aries got this. And, you know, so just, you might want to, during the moon phases, put all of your crystals or anything that's important to you or water or anything out in the sun. Let the moon and let the moon beams um, charge them. Put them in all your plants. But beyond that, you are ready. You're ready to make it grow. You have done what you need to do, that's the past, you're ready to get back out there. Whatever new that you're starting, you're ready. You're ready to be the king or queen of love. You want a loyal companion. If you are in a committed relationship, this is your loyal companion. And they're letting you be free and do what you need to do and they support you. Very nice. Eight of Wands. There's a lot going on. A lot of people... If you're single, there's many, you're going to have a, many admirers. Wherever you're starting new, there's going to be a lot of people that you'll get to meet, hang out with. You could be online. You could be on a dating app. Coupled in a committed relationship, whatever you are tending to is going to grow into an abundance And you're going to keep everything in line. You're going to, they're going to go right with you, fly right with you. Fantastic. Also, holidays are coming up. I'm starting something new. Mm. Next card, seven of wands. Another seven. That's two sevens. Lucky sevens. Very nice. You're going to pick one of these up. You're going to, yeah, you, you, you are... This is the past. You've dealt with it. This is new. You're going to conquer the world. This is you and your mate. If you're in a committed relationship, they're going to let, they support you in everything they do. They're right along with you. If you are beginning to date, you are looking for or will find this person that will understand you, think like you, and will let you be you. They will not try to control you, tell you what to do. You don't have to hide secrets from them so they don't take advantage of you. You can be yourself. Very nice. 
Eight of Wands to Seven of Wands. So you're, that's, oh, Ooh, the change card. So yes, you as two. And there's been a couple of readings I've done where um, you've turned over a new leaf. You've let go of the past. This has been a rough year. This, just like Aquarius, is going to be like your new year. Your January 1st is going to come first. Change. Change is good. Freedom. Two sevens, lucky sevens. Four, you know, 2020 is the number four. You've done what you had to do. You're ready to plant your crops, watch them grow. By your, birth, by your birthday, by March, by the first day of spring, goodness, you are going to be fantastic. Page of Wands. So, again, I keep seeing there's many people. You're single. You're going to have a lot of people chasing you, my single Pisces. A lot to choose from. If, you're, if they're your children, you're going to teach them well. If they're your children or if you're becoming a teacher or whatever new that you're starting. But this is a love read. So you're, they're going to, there's, a, there's a lot to choose from. Now, committed relationship. Drama. But it's not going to affect you. You have your faithful mate. So... I think your kids are going to be busy. Starting new, you're keeping your ear to the ground. Your ear to the... I'll have to pull. Oh, the moon. Yeah, so this, the change is coming with the lunar eclipse. As you know, lunar eclipse wobble the earth three to five degrees. Shake things up. If you're in a bad situation... They give you a chance to get out of it. They give you light. Move into something new. If you're in a good situation, it gives you kind of like a hiccup to remind yourself that life is good when it's good. So change. You're going to turn over a new leaf or something new is going to happen around the lunar eclipse or right before it. Starting a new This new is going to come to you by messages. Little Birdie told me about this new adventure, this new way of doing things, something new. So don't be surprised. This has nothing to do with love. This is something new. But there's a lot of wands, a lot of journeys. When we go into fire energy on the 21st, this will really kick in. So it'll be after the new moon, around the 21st, um, you're ready. This is all going to grow, grow, grow. Whatever this new adventure is, you're going to hear it from a little birdie. You're going to start anew. Whew! That's exhausting. And if it is for love, you're going to hear that someone likes you and whether, you know, this is very interesting. But you're going to turn over a new leaf. So this will, next month is what I'm curious about in December, what your read will look like. Um, let's ask for one more card. For singles. Ooh, ace, another ace. So it's you know, the new person coming in is gonna light your fire. It's gonna be passionate. Passionate, 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 loyalty, clever. They're gonna hit you like a ton of bricks. New. Good luck to you. Enjoy. Let me know how it goes. Uh, I love you to bits and pieces. Grab me at sugarfoottarot.com. Until next time, bye-bye, Pisces.